Who am I talking to? The boss. Who's the boss? What's my business? I'm looking for you. What do you know? What secrets are you holding? Can you tell me the secret? My secret, yes. Your secret. What do you know about Nancy's death? Do you know who's responsible? Investigate, investigate, yeah. Are you Sheriff Keeler? Have you found Jack? Are you asking about Jack Osborne? Who committed the murder? Hey, Katrina. Whoa, okay. <laughs> yes. I'm gonna come down, if you don't mind. Yeah, yeah, come on down. Okay, so Jack is coming down to join me here in the creepy basement. I heard some little shufflings. Definitely a weird feeling, like things were creeping up on me, being in that uncomfortable space. Who committed the murder? So I don't know if there's some energy lingering around this area, or is it actually Nancy? I'm not gonna lie, it's really scary down here. Hearing my name come through the geoport is really unnerving. With all the activity in this building and how aggressive these spirits can be, it's scary to think that they're calling me out. So, really weird. Whenever I stepped up to Nancy's cell, mm -hmm. is when things on the geoport started to get clearer. Your name came through. I heard. Yeah, and it was pretty clear. Yeah. Have you found Jack? Honestly, it's like the first time I've been scared since I've been here. Really? I was very uncomfortable doing this. Upstairs, even when I was trying to communicate with the sheriff, who I do think is an intelligent entity. Here, yeah. I was getting some results during the EVP. Do I get those static, like, pops in between questions? Hmm. So I feel like we're running out of time. How do you feel about trying the experiment? What experiment? The sensory deprivation with me? Uh -huh. See, I wanted to do that, but in the second floor. Do you want to oh. try it in the jail? Yeah. I'll do it in the jail because I'm thinking uh, my logic is well, they thought maybe the sheriff wasn't giving me a hard time because I was, I'm a cop. Oh. And he's probably going to give me a level of respect. Yeah. Versus if I'm in the jail area and I'm like, hey, I'm a cop, what, you know, give me your best shot. I think that's a good idea. Try it. Okay. Let's try it. I think I'm going to try my hand at the third floor then. Cool. Since we haven't been up to the second floor cell block yet, I'm gonna head up there and see if we can maybe interact with whatever intelligent spirits might be up there. Sheriff Keeler. If you're up here, I need to talk to you. All right, so I'm heading up to the third floor right now. We have an audio device, a recorder. Let's see if we can have a conversation with good old Sheriff here. Here's what's gonna happen. Got my REM pod right there. I'm gonna place my badge next to it. I'm in where the prisoners would have been, clearly, it's the jail cells. I'm gonna do some sensory deprivation. I'm hoping that this is a bit of a trigger item. If there's any spirits here in the jail cell on the second floor, I very much would appreciate it if you could let yourself be known. I have a device in the center of the room. There's a green light. If you go up to it and touch that green light or touch the antenna that sticks off of it, it's a way for us to communicate. It works through energy fields. Is anyone here in the jail right now? 
If you want to make yourself be known, make a bang, slam a door, move something, tug on me. You know, if you touch an officer while you're in here, you get thrown in the hole. I dare you. I know you're in here. Shelley's told us all about you. Michelle could sense you. I'm gonna try and relax myself and lower my heart rate. All right, I'm gonna go sensory deprivation for a little bit. Oh, this is weird. Serious? Oof. Something legitimately just came and tugged the back of my shirt while I was sat there. Like sweating. Did you guys see that? I did not see anything behind you. Yeah, I'm gonna come back down. That freaked me the out. That's weird. I mean, it literally felt like someone came up behind me and it wasn't like a this, it was like... Really? Yeah, like it was a tug. I mean, we saw, we saw I didn't see anything behind you, but it's up right now if you want to go for the playback. Okay. I mean, the fact that my name gets called out, then I got grabbed, it's kind of scary. Katrina, can you hear me? Yeah, go ahead. I was just on the second floor and I just got grabbed. Where are you now? Uh, I'm in the control room. Okay, I'm coming to you. Hey. Hey. Are what? you looking at footage? Yeah, I'm looking at it now. Yeah, it was like this. You... I was sat there and it was like, oh, but like that a strong. Double tag? Yeah, it was like. Well, what do you think? I, d I don't know. Do you think it was Sheriff Killer's ghost? <laughs> yes. Like, what else could it be? Hmm. Is that your first time being touched? No, I think about it. Probably. That apparent. Yeah. Yeah. I was calling out. I was asking for some kind of interaction, some kind of response. And all of a sudden, I felt clear as day, someone tugging on the back of my shirt. Serious? I honestly don't know what happened when I was up on the, on the second floor. It could have been an angry inmate spirit. It could have been Sheriff Keeler. It could have been the laundry list of spirits that allegedly roam those cells. This place does have some paranormal activity. I do not think there's a portal here. Um, and I do think that a lot of the activity here is residual. I will always remember this place because this is the first time I've been kind of physically contacted by something.